why or how were you guys go dangerous? As Coach talked about, you guys being go dangerous with intentionality. How were you able to do that? Yeah, we talked all week about getting numbers into the box. We felt when we were away uh, to Montawa, uh, we didn't have enough uh, runners in the box. And, you know, when we're at home, we play creative soccer. We we go for it. And and that was a result of of us committing numbers and, um, you know, playing the first pass forward, you know, thinking attack first. And once you score one goal against – you know, a team like that, they have to open up. So um, I think scoring the first goal was key. Um, Nico did a good job of, you know, shooting the first one and then reacting to the second one. Other questions here in the room? Jeremiah, we'll go back to you. And then Ari, I see in the back, we'll go over there next. Yeah, I don't know how much you guys thought about the way last year ended, but obviously there was a lot of angst, I think, among the fan base uh, to see kind of like a, a performance like this one, I mean, does it feel like any weight was lifted when you when you have a, a, a game like this? Yeah, certainly. Uh, at the same time, you want to manage expectations because, um, you know, much like last year, you know, we had a really good start to the season, and then, you know, we 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 end this end the season on a on a low. So it's it's very nice to see us you know, score five goals in one game and, you know, play the way we did. But at the same time, like, you know, we have a tough game in Nashville uh, and, and the MLS is is very difficult. So we have to take it game by game, week by week, uh, but definitely have to manage expectations because we're going to have lows throughout the season. All right. Yeah, Christian, looking ahead here, um, you guys are now going to have to start balancing uh, this competition with league play. Um, you know, in your past experience, juggling, you know, whether it's juggling Champions League or Open Cup or League Cup, or whatever it is, what are the biggest keys to, you know, staying sharp while you're balancing multiple competitions? Well, I think having a deep roster is number one. And I think we have that this year, you know, being able to balance both the MLS uh, and Champions League at the same time. It's a lot of games, a lot of travel. So we're going to rely on, on, on guys coming in and out of the lineup. Uh, and, and I think that's the most important thing. I think, you know, our front office did a really good job of, of bringing back so many, so many good players, you know, making our roster really deep um, to be able to compete in, in tournaments like this and, uh, you know, during the regular season. So, you know, we're, we're built for the longevity of, of the season, but now we, we have to put it together on the field. Bueno, para Cristian, eh, es bueno siempre jugar de local y, y ganar, sobre todo al inicio de, de, el, de, a inicio de año. Eh, ¿Cómo sientes el equipo en relación al año pasado? ¿Y crees que este año podría quizás ser mejor? Entiendo que ustedes han hecho una especie de mea culpa con todo el equipo. Eh, llegaron casi a las instancias finales el año pasado y supongo... Eh, buscarán corregir eh, los errores que se pudieron cometer en el año anterior. ¿Cómo, sines, ¿Cómo sientes el equipo actualmente en este inicio de año? Sí, ahorita en este momento siento que en nuestro equipo, eh, son, pues la verdad somos bien talentosos, pero tenemos que jugar como equipo. Y hoy vimos eso, hoy jugamos como equipo. Y siempre cuando vamos de visitante, igual tenemos que jugar como equipo. Eh, sentí que ya lo último eh, del año pasado fue difícil eh, no meter gol, pero yo siento que con este equipo siempre vamos a tener oportunidades en frente de gol. Eh, bien talentosos, pero igual tenemos que trabajar duro y, 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 y jugar como equipo este año. Uh, so the question was, um, uh, Christian, good good game today, uh, playing local and having a win is always important. Uh, how do you feel about the team for this coming year after the end of last season and after doing an evaluation of the last season? How do you feel like the team is ready for, for achieving their objectives this year? Answer from Christian. Um, I feel that this team has lots of great talent. Uh, we have good, good talent, but we gotta be sure that we are always playing as a team. Uh, 
it doesn't really matter whether we're playing locally or we're playing uh, away. Uh, we need to be sure that we are performing always as a team. Uh, during the last uh, part of the last year, uh, we were struggling in scoring goals, uh, but with the talent that we have in this team, and again, playing as a team, uh, we're going to be able to be more effective at, at that, uh, scoring goals, and then again, playing closely as a team. <laughs> Maybe in Augusto. Yeah, back there. Uh, this could go for either of you guys. Uh, just your thoughts on some of the fresher faces on the roster's uh, performance over the last two uh, two games, whether it was Leo scoring tonight, obviously, or uh, Obed playing, I believe, uh, 90 minutes in both contests. What are your thoughts, either of you, just on the their performances, you know, uh, integrating those? If you talk about the depth, uh, some of those fresh faces might have to make some important minutes this season. So just your thoughts on their last two games. Pablo, muy rápido. Lo contesto. Sí, porque hablo muy rápido. Puedo traducirme la contesto. Obed was fantastic in both games. I thought, um, you know, he's he's going to grow. He's going to learn. There there are things that he needs to uh, improve on. And and you know, he's he has a really good personality. So he'll he'll be that sponge and and learn real fast. Um, you know, obviously have, getting Leo on the field, him scoring a goal, um, you know, getting his confidence up because, you know, we'll, we'll need him throughout the season. You know, guys are, are guys come in and out of the lineup, you know, injuries happen. So, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to need guys like him. Um, you know, I thought he, our back line was, was superb. They were very good. And then it was also very, very nice to see Jao come back in and um, play his part. Uh, because he he's you know such a big part of our team. Uh, what both players might have thought about the performances of uh, Obed Vargas or Leo Chuz uh, over the last two games, just considering that they're newer faces and uh, they might be needed, you know, uh, like Christian said, along the season uh, with players, you know, maybe going in and out of the lineup. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cuál es tu opinión acerca de los jugadores nuevos como Leo Chu y, y Oba que han entrado recién ahora en esta temporada y que van a tener oportunidad de alternar en el equipo durante la temporada? La verdad se vieron muy bien, eh, necesitamos de todos, necesitamos tener a todos los jugadores disponibles, <coughs> creo que Cristian nombró también a Joao que está volviendo, Samuel eh, cuando entró es importante tener a todos pronto porque es una temporada larga Y, y ojalá sigamos pasando de, de ronda en, en Conca Champions y vamos a tener muchos partidos. Eh, el partido de hoy permitió que todos pudieran jugar, Oder lo viene haciendo muy bien, eh, y creo que eso da confianza para ellos y, y se nota que tenemos un lindo grupo. Uh, it is very important to have all our players available. Uh, uh, it was great to see Jay, uh, Joao coming back, uh, had Samuel as well coming and having some minutes in there. It is really a long season, and we have to play not only MLS, but we're going to have to keep playing champions. So it's very important to have all the players available so we can have rotations during that, this long season. Through here and make time for uh, head coach Brian Schmetzer. Laura, I will let you take it from here. Thank you, Alice. We'll give the floor to Jada Evans. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask Leo, sorry, Madero, if you could talk a little bit about your goal and it seemed like it could have helped you kind of assure yourself as far as you um, coming back from injury. Is that true or, you know, what were some of the emotions that you might have had after scoring that? Did that work? Did that work? <laughs> I got it. Did you get it? Peter, could you please type the question so I can read it so we avoid the feedback? Yep, we're going to read it in the room, Laura. One second here. Can you mute over there, please? Thank you. So the question was if you can just describe your goal. Uh, and how you la pregunta era si podría describir si pudieras por favor describir tu gol uh, que sentiste a la hora que anotaste el gol 
y también cómo te sientes después de la larga lesión que tuviste y cómo te sientes en el proceso de recuperación. No, primero me siento feliz, como lo dije recién, que me sentí sano, pude jugar sin, sin dolor, la verdad que fue una temporada dura el año pasado y me sentí bien volviendo a hacer el, el de antes, disfrutando la cancha con los compañeros y después feliz por, por el rendimiento del equipo en general, no solo mío, porque siempre es importante que todo hagamos un buen partido. Y después el gol es una alegría eh, personal, claro que a todos nos gusta hacer un gol, aparte está por nacer mi hija ahora pronto y si me hacía un gol me iba a quedar sin festejo entonces <risa> nada, eh, nada contento por el gol de, sobre todo porque abrió el partido un partido difícil estaban pasando los minutos y si, si llegábamos al segundo tiempo con un 0 a 0 el partido se iba a poner más difícil todavía así que creo que ese gol dio confianza al equipo y después de eso eh, controlamos el partido Um, so I'm, of course, very, very happy uh, that I was able to play healthy, and and it's actually a very good, a very big joy to be able to play without pain. Uh, so I was enjoying about being able to do that, uh, be happy playing with my teammates, uh, and not feeling any type of pain. Um, of course, the goal, it's a personal joy. Uh, the, my baby girl is on, is on her way, so it was a great opportunity to have a celebration where I can actually celebrate not just the goal, but that but my baby girl as well. Uh, but the most important thing is that it really opened up the goal. It, I'm sorry, it, it opened up the game. Uh, if we would have stayed 0-0 zero, zero, uh, throughout the whole first half, uh, the second half would have been very, very difficult because uh, it uh, allowed us to open up spaces and have more opportunities. So, and have more control of the game. So that, that was very important as well for us.